Um, we, we've had several meetings. Some ideas have come to me out of those meetings. Rather than waiting until the last meeting, my thought was to try to get some things into bill form so that if people want to comment on that, either the chairman or the committee members from me, that'd be good. So I'm going to take these just and uh, finish it in less than five minutes. Uh, the first item is superintendents. Sort of the standard in the work that I do is uh, severance pay is like two weeks or a month. You know, paying people not to work hurts my feelings. But, you know, you hear about these football coaches, you know, they get buy, bought out and they, they don't have to work for five years and they get paid millions. Well, superintendents are very highly paid, but there's an explosion of severance packages. And if we had a limit on the severance package uh, across the state, then our, our more rural counties wouldn't have to compete so badly against the urban counties which can afford that extravagance. So just put a limit of no more than one year. Wouldn't affect any current, if any of y'all are superintendents, it wouldn't affect any current uh, contract. Second one, one of the real problems for differentiated pay or merit pay or whatever you want to call it is frankly uh, envy and jealousy. Uh, people don't like the idea that other people will know what their salary is. And typically in business, you know, salaries are confidential. So what this would say is teacher pay, and that would include non-certified people as well. At the lower levels, not management, not superintendents, not principals, that it would not be a public record. The public record would still be the base, you know, the, the rules on base salary and longevity and steps and all that. But you would not have Mr. Smith or Mrs. Jones being listed at what their salary is for just curious people. Uh, third one. Uh, and you, the con I mean the, the bill itself is more detailed than, than this. If you have a master's or a doctorate in a uh, particular area in secondary school and if you teach in that content area, this would allow you to teach without a license. Uh, you would have to have in-service, Greg, can we get that fixed? We're getting it. All right, there, you would have to have in-service instruction in pedagogy uh, that might not be in the bill here exactly, um, but since you're you're not teaching on a contract, if the principal thinks you're a sorry teacher, they can get rid of you. But it would really reduce uh, a lot of the paperwork. Uh, part four expedites licensing for spouses of active duty military personnel. I think we had the superintendent of Cumberland to come and just tell all the teachers they have there they can't hire. Uh, and then somebody. Some of the assistant principals mentioned wildly different pay for the same experience depending on whether the assistant principal had um, had a break in service or not. So this does away with that. So just not discussion today, just want your uh, feedback, comment. Is that less than five? Yes, I think so.